The Israeli military invited journalists to view a tunnel in the Gaza Strip, where it says six hostages were killed by Hamas militants and a second tunnel that it claims was used by the militant group to smuggle weapons from Egypt into the Gaza Strip. An Associated Press journalist who was part of the tour could enter the larger tunnel in the territory's southernmost part. The Associated Press journalist could see the tunnel stretching beyond the area underneath the facility. A second tunnel could be seen going deep into the ground. A horrible thing happened here, said Rear Admiral Daniel Haggery, the spokesman for the Israeli military, adding, we didn't didn't have intelligence of their whereabouts. This wasn't a rescue mission. The tunnel was first shown by the Israeli military earlier in the week when they released footage of a Gaza tunnel where it said six hostages were recently killed by Hamas. The video showed a low, narrow passageway with no bathroom and poor ventilation. The discovery of the hostages' bodies last month has sparked a mass outpour of anger in Israel, and the new video could add to the pressure on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to reach a ceasefire deal with Hamas to bring the remaining hostages home. Sporadic shooting could be heard while journalists were taken on the tour. Haggery said the IDF was still engaged in searching for militants. He said, that was the reason why the journalists could not be shown the tunnel where the hostages were kept. The journalists were not permitted to visit other parts of the city. Israel has barred international journalists from entering Gaza independently since the Hamas attack on October 7 that sparked the war, though previously it has invited reporters on a small number of escorted visits to other parts of Gaza throughout the war. The AP journalist witnessed large-scale destruction from heavy Israeli bombardment and other military activity. International law allows for strikes on military targets in areas where civilians are present, provided the force used is proportionate to the military objective, something that is often disputed and would need to be settled in a court, which almost never happens. The war has caused vast destruction and displaced around 90% of Gaza's population of 2.3 million, often multiple times. Israeli evacuation orders, which now cover around 90% of the territory, have pushed hundreds of thousands of people into Mawasi, where aid groups have struggled to provide even basic services. Eden, Ori, Hirsch, and Carmel was kidnapped from her kibbutz, Benri. They were all here. They survived for 11 months. We cannot now take you down the tunnel because it's not secure. There might be other terrorists here in the maze of tunnels underneath the ground. There is a complete maze of tunnels here in Tel Sultan. You just heard the shootings. We are still looking and searching for terrorists in this area. We are gathering all the DNA and the forensic to find and hunt those terrorists who committed this horrific crime here. A horrible thing happened here. We didn't have intelligence. We didn't didn't have intelligence of their whereabouts. This is, wasn't a rescue mission. We were acting very carefully, very cautiously. This is why we rescued Falkhan inside the tunnels. We did not fire. We took him out. We're working very, very carefully and cautiously, and we will keep on doing that in other places in Gaza and well.
as well. Ethan, the Rafa Brigade. We are keeping this team thoroughly with you. Everything, with intelligence, the feeling of harm, and maximize the way that we hit only the terrorists in this country. Because Hamas is using the Gazans inside Gaza, embedding in the city. You have a maze of tunnels here, a maze of tunnels here, underneath the houses. This is why the destruction, there is even not one point left without a tunnel here in Rafa. And using hospitals and using UN facilities for conducting terror, we are fighting a ruthless enemy that uses the destruction and the deaths of the Palestinians which we, he is embedding inside them. <laughs> 